A loving partner is a safe shelter. Whoever finds one has found a rare treasure. A loving partner is something beyond price. There is no measuring their worth. A loving partner is a life-saving remedy, and those who respect their Lord find true love. Face all your father's calling you from the house. Nay, so make the call. Have you come here of your own free will and choice without compulsion to marry each other? We, we have. have. Thank you. Will you love and honour each other in marriage all the days of your life? We, we will. will. Are you willing to accept with love the children God may send you and bring them up in accordance with the law of Christ and his church? We are. We are. I invite you then to declare before God and his church your consent today to become husband and wife. I, Paul, take you, Kay, as my wife, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of our lives. I, Kay, take you, Paul, as my husband, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of our life. I am very happy to pronounce you husband and wife. Give the new Mr. and Mrs. Rafter a warm applause. And give them a warm applause. I listened to my dad. <laughs> I definitely didn't rush into this one and I waited for the right man and he is it and he's amazing. <laughs> I just think that a lot gets said about the bride and sometimes not so much about the groom and he he's okay it's enough. <laughs> but yeah he's a really special guy and I am just as lucky to have met him on that night. I met Kay by chance. Oh look Good luck, seven years ago when I was on the way back from Riyadh, from the desert, Saudi Arabia. And I knew instantly that Kay was the one for me. To me, Kay is perfect. She's absolutely beautiful, looks stunning today. So wh whether it was chance or luck, I, I don't know, but I felt like the luckiest man alive since I've met Kay and the last seven years have been the best of my life. So here's to the next. Here's to a lifetime. <laughs>